Friends, let us stand together as we join in our Marian Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. As we gather at this sacred altar, as we begin this month of May, and we dedicate ourselves to the intercession of our Blessed Mother, we remember at this Mass, Antony and Eugenia Kabrinsky, K.P. DeVizia, the deceased members of our parish family, and all those in our Book of Life. For the times we have not been like Mary, who said yes to God's will in her life, we bow our heads and ask for God's mercy, for he is slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are happy to die on the cross to free us from our sin. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Now risen from the dead, you lead us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you.
Let us pray, O God, who have been pleased to gladden the world by the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Grant, grant, we pray, that through his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may receive the joy of everlasting life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. God's temple in heaven was opened, and the ark of the of his covenant was seen within his temple. A great portent appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was pregnant and was crying out in birth pangs, in the agony of giving birth. Then another portent appeared in heaven, a great red dragon with seven heads and ten horns and seven diadems on his head. His tail swept down a third of the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth. Then the dragon stood before the woman who was about to bear a child, so that he might devour her child as soon as it was born. And she gave birth to a son, a male child, who is to rule all the nations with a rod of iron. But her child was snatched away and taken to God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she has a place prepared by God, so that there she can be nourished for 1,260 days. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven proclaiming, Now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ. The word of the Lord.
shall the King desire your beauty, for He is your Lord, for He is your Lord. The Queen stands at your right hand, array. Born in the gladness, with gladness and joy, they enter the palace, the palace of the king. The queen stands at your right hand, array. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since death came through a man, the resurrection of the dead has also come through a man. For all die in Adam, so all will be made alive in Christ, but each in his own order. Christ, the first fruits, then at his coming, those who belong to Christ. Then comes the end, when he hands over the kingdom to God the Father, after he has destroyed every ruler and every authority and power. For he must reign until he has put all his enemies under his feet. The last enemy to be destroyed is death. The word of the Lord. up to heaven the host of angels shout for joy alleluia 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 my brothers and sisters the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country, where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the child leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed in a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me, that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown the strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servant Israel 
in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. Mary remained with Elizabeth about three months and then returned to her home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. My soul magnifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Every time Mary speaks, just the words that she uses, just hearing them, do you not sense that they're always just filled with the Holy Spirit? As Mary speaks, it's just with such beauty and such joy. Do whatever he tells you. She commands to the servants at the wedding of Cana, and she commands all of us to do the same. Yet even those words are with a gentle mother's tone. Be it done unto me according to your will. That sense of trust that Mary had. I know I can speak for all of us and say, I want the faith that Mary has. Don't we all want the faith and the trust that Mary has, right? She's inspiring for us. And so as Holy Mother Church gives us this beautiful month that we dedicate ourselves through the intercession of the Blessed Mother, I also want to make sure that we recognize the strength of Mary. And while she sees herself as very humble, as very faithful, the church suggests that she's very powerful. And that as we heard in our second reading, it is our Blessed Mother who under her feet squashes the serpent, Lucifer. And so her desire to wrap each of us in her mantle of love, my brothers and sisters, is to guide us, to protect us, to love us, in ways that only a mother can. Our spiritual mother, Mary, continues to guide and to shape our very lives. This morning I had the privilege of joining with our high school community and Our Lady of Fatima, and I reminded them both that every time we pray the Hail Mary prayer, it's like planting a flower in Mary's garden. And not just in a beautiful way, but rather, in this spiritual battle of good versus evil, Mary is the captain of Jesus' army. That her, along with St. Michael the Archangel, their job is to protect us from evil, to intercede on our behalf. And so, just as a mother and father is called to protect their children in their own family unit, so our Blessed Mother at the cross is instructed by her son Jesus to do the same for each of us. And that we should always remember to come to Mama Mary because moms deliver. And this mom always delivers. And so as we shower her with our love, we're about to crown her as Carmen and Annette will come forward representing all of us by crowning our Blessed Mother tonight. This month of May, but please God, every day of our lives, we should continue to focus on the beautiful words of our Blessed Mother. Those of us that pray the Liturgy of the Hours, we pray this Magnificat every single day so that we can be more like she who says yes to the Lord. And no matter how hard our trials are today, friends, that you and I face, Mary is praying for us in a very beautiful and particular way. She never wants us to be discouraged. Rather, she wants us to stay focused on her Son. For in He, we see it, the source of all hope, all love, and all joy. And so as she appeared to St. Bernadette, as she appeared to the shepherd children at Fatima, 
as she appeared in Medjugorje, as she appeared at Guadalupe. Mary adapts herself for her children that she chooses to appear to. Why? Because a mother wants to reach every single one of her children because every single one of her children are different. And so while she loves all of her children, a true mother wants to speak to the child on an individual basis. And so she is with each of you, my brothers and sisters. Never be afraid to turn to Mama Mary to help you in the face of temptation. We do not worship Mary, but rather we rely on her prayers and her guidance to help us so that we too can proclaim, my soul magnifies the Lord, my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and set the rich away empty. He has helped his servant in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors. Indeed, the Lord is good. And so we turn to you, our dear Queen. Help us in our relationship with your son, Jesus. Help us to be more like you, to trust, to hope, to love, and to overcome all obstacles of evil. Mary, Mother of the Church, pray for us. As a sign of our love and devotion and our commitment to our Blessed Mother, I now invite Annette and Carmen to come forward on behalf of our parish to crown our Blessed Mother. We renew our commitment as we invoke the intercession of our Blessed Mother as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our response is, Risen Lord, hear our prayer. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our Holy Father and for all who are called to exercise responsibility and authority in the Church, that they may be guided by the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray, we pray for our worshiping community, that others will see us as a people radiating the peace and the love of the Risen Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the sick and for those who are in distress in any way. Be close to them and their suffering. Let, the, let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, 
whose faith was known to God alone. May they receive light, happiness, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we verbalize to God from the silence of our hearts. Lord our God, we thank you for giving us our Blessed Mother to guide us as our spiritual mother closer in our relationship with you. May her trust and love for you inspire us to deepen our trust and love for you. And may Mary's yes inspire us to say yes to your will in our daily lives. We ask these in all things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, Holy Father, this offering of our humility 
which we bring you with joy as we commemorate the Blessed Virgin Mary. And grant, we pray, that it may be for us, who are joined to the sacrifice of Christ, our consolation on earth, and our eternal salvation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on this feast day of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. this Mass, we use Eucharistic prayer number three. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God, In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, 
with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Athanasius, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, the religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, we remember especially Antony and Eugenia and KP, the deceased members of our parish family, those in our book of life, and all who have died. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world. Free us by this, your most holy body and blood, from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen.
May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those at home receiving Jesus in his spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
did you know that your baby boy would someday walk on water? Did you know that your baby boy would save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you Will soon deliver you. Mary, did you know that your baby boy would give sight to a blind man? Did you know that your baby boy would come on the store with his hands? Did you know that your baby boy has walked where angels drive? When you kissed your little the face of God. Mary, did you know? Mary, did you know? The blind will see, the deaf will hear, the dead will live again. The lame will lead, the dumb will praises of the Lamb. Mary, did you know that your baby boy is Lord of all creation? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will one day rule the nations? Did you know that your baby boy was heaven's perfect the sleeping child you're holding is the great I am. Let us pray. Renewed by this Paschal Sacrament, we pray, O Lord, that we who honor the memory of the mother of your Son may show forth in our mortal flesh the life of Jesus, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Good Saint Joseph, ever watchful guardian of the Holy Family, protect the chosen people of Jesus Christ. Keep us free from the blight of error and corruption, and be our ally in the conflict with the powers of darkness. As of old, you rescued the child Jesus from the plots of Herod. So now defend the universal church from all harm. Keep us one and all under your continual protection, so that by your help and example, we may lead a holy life, die a happy death, and come to possess eternal life in heaven. Amen. Friends, I invite us to be seated for a very special presentation.
Good evening. My name is Joanne Vanderlan, President of the St. Joseph Catholic Women's League. It is my pleasure this evening to acknowledge one of our members for her commitment to the CWL. Tonight, Sally Power will receive her 55-year membership pin. <laughs> Sally, we congratulate you and look to you as a wonderful example of Christ's word in action. Please come forward to receive your 55-year membership pin. Thank you, Joanne, and thank you, Sally. Friends, immediately following the Mass, we are all invited outside for our experience of the Living Rosary as we continue to plant flowers in our Blessed Mother's garden. So please do join us if you are able. Let us stand for the final blessing. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Alleluia.